existence all my life. And I'm here reporting for ECCars.com and we have with us a surprising guest, it's Malin Mortensen, who represented Denmark uh, 12 years ago, actually, at Eurovision Sound Contest. So, what are your memories from that year? Well, it was crazy, because I went to school at the same yes. time. Uh, but it was wonderful in Denmark, and it was great in Tallinn, too. It was really an experience. But now you're do doing quite different music compared to that, yes? Yeah, yeah, I would say it's different, yeah. Uh, now is uh, you have I think six albums behind you, eight, uh, eight even eight albums behind you. Uh, any uh, thoughts that you could enter Melody Grand Prix again? Well, I I tried this year because some Swedish girls sent me a song. Uh huh. And maybe we know them. Um, Ilva and Linda Pedersen. Linda, Linda Pedersen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we uh, recorded it in our home, Carl and me, and uh, but it wasn't chosen. Oh, unfortunately. Hopefully, maybe next year then. Yeah, I mean, if it's a song I like, I, I can't see why I shouldn't do it. So, do you follow still Eurovision? Do you watch it? Uh, have you listened to the songs this year, maybe? Uh, not that much. I haven't been in Denmark. I haven't. Uh -huh. I've been in the States okay. for a month. Um, so I didn't even see the Danish one. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been following because I haven't been. Do you plan to attend the show or not? Well, I can't <laughs> because I'm in Germany. Okay. I leave next week, so I'm not even here when it's here. Yeah, we remember actually you were at OG Germany party. Uh, yeah, that recently. was great. Yeah. In München. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so great to sing the song again. I haven't been doing it with the backing, with yes, the backtrack. Yes, yes, yes. It was so great. Uh, you know Copenhagen probably a lot better than us. What would you recommend to see in Copenhagen for the visitors? Besides of this? Yes, besides of Tivoli. Uh, um, but what should they see out of in Denmark? What are they supposed to see in Denmark? In Denmark. Yeah. In Denmark. Besides of Tivoli, I. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. Nyhavn, where we live. Yeah, Nyhavn okay. is very nice. Actually, just to take a stroll around the town, it's nice. Excellent. Uh, have you been born in Christiania? I wasn't born there, okay. but I lived there okay. for okay. two years. So what can you tell us about it? We have chosen the Christiania as one of the topics of our coverage here. So what can you tell us about Christiania? It's a place where you don't pay tax, I think. So people live in there in, in a different way than we do. <laughs> and they can smoke weed. And Have you ever been performing there? I played at a jazz club. And uh -huh. actually my um, confirmation okay, uh, yeah, yeah. was held. Mm -hmm. At Christiania. Oh, excellent. excellent. They have some big uh, restaurants and. Uh huh. Stuff. I see. I see. Uh, okay. As usually, we ask you to sing. Uh, we ask uh, someone to sing uh, at the interviews. Can we ask you to sing a short part of your uh, your Eurovision entry? Yeah. If you can do it for us. Uh, well, the yeah. chorus or the verse. Uh, just uh, any way you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Morning lights break in darkness, feeling dawn on again. I can feel you are restless. I'm afraid for day to begin. Yes, one of my favorite songs of all Eurovision songs. Uh, I was really surprised you had finished so low in the scorecard. What do you think was the reason of that? I didn't give myself so low points, so I can't really answer why people didn't like it. Uh, a lot of people think it's maybe the reason was that you did it in English instead of Danish. Maybe? I think it could have been something to do with um, the, sh the show of it. Uh -huh. I mean, I presentation, co presentation yeah. compared to all the other uh, participants, they had dancers and they changed clothes and okay. I just sang yes. the song and so I think it's a lot about a lot of things going on on stage that I didn't do well I, I, I don't know at least we really loved your presentation so uh, what is your next step what are you doing next uh, next plans for 
Well, at the moment, I'm working on my new album that mm -hmm. I just recorded in New York. So that's what I'm kind of doing. And then we have a tour in Germany with this band plus it's a drummer. Again, jazz, bo bossa nova style, or yeah, jazz, but with those kind of yeah. pop elements. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? R and B. English language. English. Do you sing in oh, Danish? Oh, I have a Danish song. Okay. We had it on the list, actually. Uh -huh. um, so I have a few Danish, but mostly English. Okay, it was a really pleasure talking to you. Uh, and it's very unfortunate that you will not be at Eurovision this weekend, uh, next weekend. But we really uh, like to see you somewhere else, maybe, maybe next year at Eurovision as an entrant. Yes. So well, I would love to, but it, it depends on the, the people who, who choose yep. songs. We'll try to recommend them then, because you're a brilliant singer, we just uh, saw that. So thanks again for talking Thank to us you. and best of luck in your future career. Nastrovia. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's it? Yes. Yes, thanks a lot. <laughs>